Hey everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and in this fun video, we'll be taking a look at the best and the worst ways to make money online. We'll be making a tier list with which you can get an idea of what are some great ways and what are some of the bad ways to make money if you really want to do so. Now I have a tier list right here that has S, A, B, C, D, E and F listed over here and we'll go one by one for every single side hustle that you can do to make money and let's get started with this video. So as you can see on the screen, this is the tier list that I have. Let's go through each of them one by one and try to understand what tier should each of these be in. So let's get started with the first one. Let's talk about teaching offline, right? So you're teaching kids offline, maybe your neighborhood kids, you're trying to teach something to them. This is a good way to get started, but it's definitely not scalable. It definitely doesn't pay you that much. So I would like to keep it in the D tier right here. It's a good way to get started. It's better than just mentoring one person, but it can definitely not be scalable. Then you have teaching online. Teaching online is great because then you can take live classes online. There are a bunch of platforms that allow you to do exactly that. So this can work out really well for you. By the way, if you are liking this video, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as well. So teaching online, right? I'll just put that in the B tier right here, as you can see. Teaching online definitely pays pretty, pretty well because you now have a lot of people that can watch your videos, that can listen to your live classes, and that means you can get a lot more. Next, we have a nine to five job. Sorry to break your heart. This is not the best way to make money. I would like to place it in the E tier because number one, you don't have any accountability. You don't really have defined hours that you'll be working from this time to this time. There are a bunch of people who work after hours as well. So this is definitely not the best way to make money if you want to do just that. Next, you have part-time jobs right here. This involves you trying to deliver pizza, going for driving someone's car and doing th things like these. It's good, but again, it just takes too much time. I would like to even place this in the F tier, I would say. Next, let's take a look at consulting. Over here, you have to define exactly what time to what time will you be giving to someone and you help them get some work done right so consulting is definitely good but you are literally trading your time for money so it's definitely not the best thing that you, you can be doing i would like to place this in the c tier you can only consult one person at a particular time or two or three people it's not better than teaching online when you can have a hundred or you can have a thousand people that are learning from your live lectures so that's what i would do right here consulting can involve anything maybe you're consulting them for their content strategy maybe you're consulting them for some other things but this is what i would say over here next let's take a look at freelance coding now freelance coding particularly pays really really well there is still a shortage of great software developers who are taking up contracts so that definitely makes it in the B tier right here, as you can see. Freelance coding, it's definitely a good way to make money, but not in the A or S tier by any means. Then you have SMM or copywriting. This is when you are working with any company and you are helping them with managing their social media. You're helping them manage with content creation. You can help them write their posts and things like that. This is also a great way to make money, but you have to understand that having US clients is going to be the main important thing right here, but I would like to place this still in the C tier right here. Then you have data entry. <laughs> okay, data entry is going to be a trash way to make money online. It definitely deserves the F tier right here. I have made a video talking about how to earn money by writing subtitles. It's, it's a good way to make money, but it definitely sucks because you are trading your time for money. The amount that you can charge from your client is also going to be less because there's going to be just a lot more people who would be willing to do the exact same thing that you are trying to offer, that is writing subtitles, just because it is a low skill work that you will be doing. Then you have design. Now design pays really well both in terms of the job as well as if you're doing freelancing I would like to place it right next to freelance coding in the B tier then you have SMMA that is a social media marketing agency that's what I'm doing right here building market up working with eight clients right now now the problem is if you cannot get those US clients your margins can be pretty slim so you have to make sure that either you have a brand or number two you can get US clients that's going to be really really important right here social media marketing agency great way to make money great way to get started but it doesn't scale as well as it could have. Let's just place it in the B tier for now. If you're keen on making money online, you have to learn about the concept of wealth creation and take your time as an asset. If you want to learn about concepts like goal setting, time allocation, and how to optimize your personal finance, I would recommend you to take a look at these audiobooks on Cuckoo FM. Cuckoo FM is India's leading vernacular audio podcasting platform where you can listen to thousands of audiobooks, summaries, and podcasts with a content library of thousand plus hours of audio content 
content you can pretty much learn anything that you want quickly and they also are launching new audiobooks every single day i prefer listening to audiobooks these days just because it's a lot easier and there is less strain on my eyes now right now cuckoo fm is having a huge sale going on in which they are offering you over 50 percent discount on the gandhi jayanti special sale if you use the code gandhi 50 you will be getting 50 percent discount on their 400 rupees annual subscription plan which gets it down to just 200 rupees and if you are watching it after 3rd of october which is the deadline for this coupon code to use you can still use my code is20 to get a 20 percent discount on the annual subscription of 400 rupees i think this is a great opportunity that you can learn about so many audiobooks you can learn about so many skills for just the price of 400 rupees or even less if you use the coupon codes check out the link in the description to learn more about this and now let's get back to the video the next thing that we'll be looking at is going to be youtube slash ig this is basically when you want to build your own brand when you become a youtuber when you become an instagrammer or a tiktoker whatever you want to call it and this is a great way to make money because now you have a distribution people actually know you people have seen your face they know what you are talking about so they will be trusting you and that's why this deserves to be in the A tier right here as you can see doing YouTube works really well but the only problem with this is most people are not optimizing it okay and, and I don't even know if we should be optimizing it or not but the way this works is that you might never know when the algorithm chooses to take you down right that is totally not in your hand and the thing is that you are trading your video attention for advertisers right that's how things work but if you try to sell your own course on this which we'll be talking about in some time this can also be a great way to generate a lot of money right here it's all about creating distribution right you have people like Amant Hatharwal you have people like Bia Biceps what are they doing they are creating different channels they are creating different ways to approach people to create distribution to create awareness about the content that they are creating if you have five to ten channels that you are operating that you are creating content people would want to trust you even more they would be having more reachability and that's how things work over here so youtube and ig definitely a great way although it depends on how do you want to scale that dropshipping is great it works for a lot of people but i don't really know if it is really a good thing to do right now in 2021 i have not tried it myself but i have a couple of friends who do it so from their experience there isn't a lot that you can do versus when you were in 2015 when there was a lot more demand a lot less supply so this one definitely deserves to go in the c tier i would say that's what I would put it in. By the way, let me know what other side assets do you want me to cover if I have not covered any of these over here. Then you have crypto trading. Crypto trading as a way to make money, it's really risky. If you don't know what you're doing, you can definitely suffer losses. I have multiple friends who have lost their money in crypto, so it's definitely the wild, wild west right here. I would like to place it in the D tier. It can make a lot of money, but a lot of that is all about having luck. I think that is important and just having a lot of knowledge about it is also really important. So just because of that, I will have to place it in the D tier. After that, you have trading in the stock market in general. This is a little bit better, not as crazy as crypto trading right here, but still, is quite volatile i personally don't like trading in the stock market so i would place it in the e tier i have seen a lot of ads on youtube talking about how people are making twenty five thousand rupees profit every single day but i'm not sure if that really is the truth selling notes and ebooks now this is the best way to make money i would say i would place it in the a tier why because you are actually having a digital product that you can sell to as many people as you want right you make one ebook you put it up on amazon put it up on flipkart and then people can buy it as many times as they want to now i do something similar i have this book called as crush it on linkedin that i put out on amazon and flipkart and that book right now gets me about 500 rupees every single month in passive income which is completely fine i provide this book for free to everyone so i'm not really expecting anything out of it but that's basically how this works by the way if you're enjoying this video make sure that you hit the like button let's go down to the next part which is going to be nfts now creating your own nft or flipping nfts is definitely a great thing you can do it requires you to have special knowledge about things so that's really important the ethereum prices keeps fluctuating i have seen some really interesting projects on nft so i would like to place it in the c tier this requires you to have a lot of knowledge about how things work it can be really messy so you have to be prepared for that as well i have seen multiple people get drug pulled so be careful over here next we have flipping or reselling this is a great way to start making money but it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of patience and it can be dangerous as well sometimes so i would like to place it in the e tier but i have seen people making a lot by just flipping or reselling in us it's a very popular trend i can even place it in the d tier i would say like let's just do this okay but that's what i would say just go to olx.in and 
Look at a product that you want to sell. Find someone selling it for less than the actual price of that thing, buy it and then sell to someone else or even better. And then you make your own list and you offer it for a slightly higher price. And that is how you can do that thing. But it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of work and it's not much about skills. So I don't really like it. That's why it is in the D tier right there. Then you have selling courses. It's definitely one of the best ways to make money. Definitely deserves the A tier. You can create a recorded course. You can sell it to millions of people around the world. This is by far the best way to make money as you can see right here. After that, you have podcasting and blogging. This is similar, but podcasting is good. I would place it in the B tier right now because the discoverability for each podcast is quite difficult. It's not as much about SEO. It's a lot more about the brand of the person talking on that podcast. It's still quite in its nascent stages and getting traction on podcasting platforms is quite difficult. I have tried to do this and I can say it from my own perspective personal experience. Then you have blogging. Blogging used to be good. I have a couple of friends who do it till this date, but the money in blogging is not as much if you're just starting out. Okay. If you are starting from scratch with a new blog, it's quite difficult for you to monetize it. And even if you do, it's not going to be as much. Many people around the world would rather prefer to watch a video than read a blog on the same topic. So that's why I place it in the C tier. It can work out really well. The Google AdSense can pay really well. Then you have other things, you know, sponsorships, you can have affiliate marketing, that is also a good thing. And next you have online surveys. You might have seen these apps, which basically tell you to fill this survey, fill five more of these surveys, and then you end up making hundred rupees or something. This is one of the worst ways to make money because first of all, it just takes too much time and the result is not as much. And you end up trading your data, your personal data, your personal information with them. That's what I would say. Then you have drop servicing. This is a really interesting model in this. Basically what you do is establish yourself as a trusted authority, right? People trust you. And then you take on work. You take on a project and then you outsource at a margin. Of course, you have a margin, you have a profit and then you outsource that work. This can work very well, but there are definitely loopholes. You don't have a lot of trust because your editor who is editing your video instead of you editing your own video for your client can make some really big mistakes. So you have to make sure that you understand that drop servicing is good. I would place it in the C tier. I would say this can work out pretty well, but you have to understand about creating trust, right? That's what it is all about. Then you have two things left, social platform and SaaS platforms right here. Both of them deserve to be in the S tier right here. As you can see, why am I saying this? It's basically because social platforms have something that courses don't and that is retention. You will look at a course, you will buy that course, you will listen to that course for one week, one month, two months, five months, but then you will quit and move on, right? Versus social platforms, you've been using Instagram from the inception 2014. You've been using platforms like, you know, Canva. You've been using a bunch of other platforms for as long as you can remember. And the best part about both of these is that these can scale really, really well. And number two, you have retention. People will come back because they have to get work done. People will come back because there's network effects involved. People will come back because they want to check up on their friends. So this is basically how things operate. That's what I wanted to share in this video. Let me know in the comments section what do you think about this take a look at cuckoo fm with the link in the description use my code is20 or gandhi50 for the discounts that is pretty much it thank you for watching you can follow me on instagram and ask me a question in the comment section i would be glad to answer them you can write down in the comment section i watch till the very end if you're still watching thank you so much i'll see you in the next video Bye bye